We bring you the latest updates from the PNA Newsroom. Four regions are placed under the state of calamity following the onslaught of severe tropical storm Paeng. President Ferdinand R. Marcos signed Proclamation No. 84 declaring state of calamity in regions 4A, 5, 6 and the Bangsamoro Autonomous Region in Mindanao or BARM. The President also directed all concerned government departments and agencies to continue the implementation of rescue, relief and rehabilitation measures in areas affected by Paeng. According to the issuance, the President may include other areas in the declaration of a state of calamity considering the continuing damage assessment in affected areas. The declaration will also allow the government to effectively control prices of basic necessities and prime commodities and enable both the national and local governments to utilize their funds for rescue, recovery and rehabilitation measures. The onslaught of severe tropical storm Paeng has affected more than 1.4 million people from Calabarzon, Bicol Region, Western Visayas and Barm. The resumption of full face-to-face -face classes in public schools is going smoothly as students resume classes today. Department of Education spokesperson Attorney Michael Poa said 94% or almost all of the 827 public schools in the National Capital Region have opened face-to-face -face classes. POA earlier said that there were schools that asked for exemptions from in-person classes, including those that have been damaged by typhoons and earthquakes. On the other hand, private schools were allowed to continue distance or blended learning beyond November 2nd. Meantime, DepEd is monitoring schools in other regions. DepEd has also allowed the voluntary wearing of face masks inside classrooms. Canada plans to add 500,000 immigrants in 2025 amid the aging population and the need to fill up over 1 million job vacancies there. The Business Council of Canada agreed that the immigration levels are necessary to fill up those vacant jobs. BCC President and CEO Goldie Hyder said every job that is not filled represents one less person contributing to Canada's economic growth and one less person paying taxes to support Canada's social infrastructure. He also said that two-thirds of its members had put projects on hold because of a lack of workers and about 30% relocated their work outside Canada for the same reason. Canada will increase the number of those who will be reuniting with their family members from 106,000 in 2023 to 118,000 in 2025. Meanwhile, the number of refugees admitted will drop from 76,000 in 2023 to just under 73,000 in 2025. Immigrants now represent about 23% of Canada's population of 38 million individuals, the Canadian press reported. In our news overseas, North Korea reportedly fired more than 10 missiles this morning, with one of them landing close to South Korea's waters. Residents of Ulyongto Island were told to evacuate to bunkers after a short-range ballistic missile crossed the maritime border known as the Northern Limit Line. The military said the missile that flew closest to South Korea landed in waters just 57 kilometers east of the mainland. In a statement, President Yoon suk yeol said the missile was a territorial invasion and a provocation by North Korea. Japan has also confirmed the launch as Prime Minister Fumio Kishida announced that he planned to call a national security meeting. Pyongyang later said this is in response to Seoul and Washington's joint air drills, which it called aggressive and provocative towards North Korea. It warned of serious consequences if the United States and South Korea show their military forces. And that is the latest and the biggest stories from the PNA Newsroom. For more news content, visit our webpage or head on to the Philippine News Agency's Facebook and Twitter accounts. We are also shown on the social media pages of the Office of the Press Secretary and on Radio Pilipinas RP1. Stay tuned for more news updates. I am William Theo. We tell stories that inspire change.